I have been to Washington, D.C. dozens of times, more than some, less than many others. Starting as a child on family, school, or camp trips, and more recently visiting my sister, who lives close by. Most often, though, I have been to D.C. as a citizen advocate through APEC's policy conference, student government at Michigan, the AJC's Global Forum, and as a Global Justice Fellow with the American Jewish World Service. Each of these experiences involves some version of Hill Day, when we march up the steps to the Capitol or enter House or Senate office buildings to plead our case for Israel advocacy, for foreign aid, for the lifting of the global gag rule, or the passage of the International Violence Against Women Act, and more. I have been there often enough that I don't get as nervous as I used to. I have not been there often enough to stop feeling like I am in a cathedral of democracy, a unique place in our country and the world. And I still marvel at the complexity, beauty, messiness, and sometimes even the ugliness of the work of the national legislature. And we walk through the halls from one appointment to another after clearing what always struck me as fairly rudimentary security without an escort. No soldiers patrolling the grounds, no visible military equipment ready to be put to the defense of the dome, seeing familiar faces from TV. In recent years, lobbying my friend Congressman Ted Deutsch has been the easiest part of these Hill Days because he is always on the right side of our issues. He and his colleagues and thousands of citizens every day are doing the people's business. Why can we go in there at all? Why isn't it a secure fortress with advanced screening and pre-clearance of select visitors, like the White House? Why can we walk from one office to the other, often wandering in unending labyrinths or basements, poking our heads into committee hearings, recognizing names on the plaques outside hundreds of offices? We can do that because we are all part of a covenant or maybe a compact. We are not there to do damage or to cause disruption. We are there to plead our case, to participate as constructively as we can in matters that concern us. Which is why the images from Wednesday were so shocking and unnerving. Hooliganism and thuggishness inside the very hallways, offices, and chambers where sharp words are spoken, but violent outbursts are exceedingly rare over hundreds of years. May it be an aberration because as a norm, it cannot abide. May those responsible for destruction, endangerment, and desecration of our nation's capitol building be held accountable for their actions. Those whose words made that famous dome look not like a beacon of freedom, but an enemy target to be ransacked, must be found guilty at least in the court of public opinion and then at the ballot box. This country is better than the lies and deceptions that helped foment and then direct the anger of a mob. May we learn from January 6, 2021. May its tragic and sad events never be seen again within our borders. And may God bless the United States of America.